Hello survivors and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to be looking at two new worlds that are on, I don't know, the, the premier token area as you can see. Um, it is gear tokens and legendary tokens. Now you have to purchase these tokens, these are um, pretty much premier only. Um, there's no free to play roadmap for any, any of this unfortunately. Um, but the value of these is it's pretty decent. Gear tokens cost 99 pence, and I think it's 99 cents, so less than a dollar for five pulls on the gear token well. And within the gear token well, you can get up to GPS and canteen. Now, the chance of getting these is quite low, um, but you can get, you know, other top legendary and epic gear as well. Um, the odds of getting this are broken down in, if you click the question mark in the top right hand corner, Legendary gear 3.5, epic gear 10%, 38%, 48%, 0.5, all the way down to elite rare gear. Now, you're most likely going to get ultra rare gear and elite rare gear. You know, that those combined are over 80%. Um, but you could get lucky, like I saw Vegas Virality do a video and he got five epic gear and above, I believe. So he got really lucky. Um, but I've got five pools. I did buy this on both regions. I wasn't really interested in the gear, on, if I'm honest. I probably wouldn't ever buy it again if it came up. The only reason I bought it is because I bought the other offer as well. Whoops. Uh, the other offer as well, which has legendary tokens, which is a bit more expensive. I think it's like four and a half dollars, five dollars, something like that. Um, and these have epic characters in them. And it has some pretty nice ones in there as well. Some pretty recent ones. Um, and you have a reasonable chance to get a legendary crew. When I say epic characters, I meant legendary uh, characters. Um, six stars, basically. You have a 5% chance of getting a legendary recruit. Um, you have 95% chance of getting an epic recruit, and that's it. Um, so you're guaranteed a five star. Okay. Um, now, going through this world, there are a lot of good legendary characters on this world, but you've only got a 5% chance of getting any of these characters. So you could get one of the free to play characters, which you've just seen. You know, you've seen um, Alpha, Ares, and, and Aiko and Cal, all of those are free to play, but you could get someone like this, who's Herschel, who's pretty good. Now, within the five star characters, there are pretty much all non-ascendable. There is one future ascendable in Carly, and there is an Aaron on there as well as an ascendable. That might be a mistake, so potentially you could get ascendable Aaron within the five stars, within that 95%. There is a brand new character as well. He's right at the end of the world, so it might take a while to get to him, so I might just skip to it. I will just skip to it. So the majority of these characters in, in the five star will, but this is the character that I saw that I think is brand new. I'm fairly certain this character's brand new. It's the character that is on Survival Road. He's in Survival Road with, I think it's an Abraham revive. Two of these, two of these are revives. Isn't, doesn't look as upgraded as this, because they're tier one um, in terms of their visual appearance. But I'm pretty sure this is the one that's in Survival Road. Um, all tough teammates get 30% of defense and a very large bonus to AP when taking damage. Not a great leader skill, but they'll find 100% damage to one enemy, revive one teammate with 15% of their max HP. I mean, not even a great revive in my opinion. 45 AR though, quite fast. Would have been actually pretty decent in the, you know, in the five star era, but um, the 15% of their max HP, not great. You know, if this guy ever became ascendable though, he'd be pretty decent. And because he's really rare, he could potentially become a free to play ascendable character. Who knows? Um, because this is, the, this is the first time I've ever seen this guy, if I'm honest. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. So I'm gonna do my pause on this region. And I'm going to do the pulls on the gear wheel first. Um, just as the best gear I can get would obviously be be, be nice. Um, but if I had to save my luck, I'd probably want to save my luck for the characters. Um, so here we go. Here's the here's the gear. And hopefully we get something decent. We are going to get a pickaxe. Oh no, it's an Alpenstock. Same, same deal. Same deal. Four star. Oh, we get, okay, we get a hand crank radio. It's not too bad. Two. Get two hand crank radios, okay. It was looking, it was looking shady. It was looking a bit, a bit sketchy at the beginning, um, but hand crank radios came out. I think I'm actually lower on hand crank radios as well in this region. I might actually be quite, quite close. Let's have a little look. 21, 25. So I was a little lower. I was a little lower. Now, now the moment of truth. We're gonna go with a. I'll do a pull on Michonne. I think. I think I'll do a pull on Michonne. Uh, any legendary. I'll be happy with any legendary, if I'm honest. 5% chance, yes please. So we're going to put on Michonne. Here we go. Give me a legendary character. 
Oh my god, that's like one of the worst characters it could be. <laughs> oh, that, that's fodder then, that's fodder, unfortunately. It's Telltale though. Oh, I got a Telltale character. I might, I might need him for a collection, but I don't think he's part of a collection. But he is pretty much one of the worst five stars you can get. I mean, his rush isn't that slow. I remember it being much slower than that, actually. I remember his rush being like a hundred. I don't know why. He isn't, he isn't as bad as I, I was making out as a 5 star, but he's at a 5 star. He's still in a 95%. Pretty much it wouldn't have mattered who I got in at 95%. If I get anyone who has five, a 5 star, except maybe that Axel, just in, in terms of that would have been cool. Anyone in that 95% would have pretty much been like, nah. Let's see if he gives a collection update. And that's a, that's a no. Uh, so I'm going to switch to my other region where I've got pools as well. Um, yeah, let's go. Okay, in the second region... Got five pulls on this wheel as well. Let's just go straight into that. It's taking a while to update. Maybe it'll give me something nice from this. We start off with a police shield, a beanie, army walkie talkie, flat jacket, and topographic map. So we've got absolutely trash gear from this. That could be a good sign. I want to try and take anything I can from this to try and get a, a nice character from, from here. Um, I'm gonna go with the first six star Telltale character that isn't, that is after Lewis. So whoever the first six star Telltale character is, I'm gonna put on them. If there are any more, I'm not sure if there are. Okay, there was no Telltale characters, so I had to edit it back to the start. So we're gonna put on Lewis. Hopefully we can get someone nice. Please get someone nice. <laughs> well that's that's pretty much like it doesn't really matter like i said it doesn't matter which five star we get i would pretty much have the same reaction of god damn because that isn't what you want that isn't what you want so both of my characters and majority of pulls are gonna be that 95 percent you know let's say you and your entire faction pull your one pull potentially all of you could be in the epic recruits because you know five people out of a hundred will get on average, five people out of 100 will get a legendary recruit. So that means out of every three factions, maybe four will get, you know, maybe. Um, so you, you, you gotta get lucky. You gotta get lucky twice, because not do, only do you have to get a six star, you actually have to get a decent one as well. I'm not sure if any follow-up offers ha happen. This offer was there already. Um, it doesn't look like there are any follow-up offers at the moment. But this one, I mean, this is the value that they're saying the value of that is normally, and I don't think that's worth it at all. £24 for a 95% chance of bad 5-star is not good for me. Uh, it'd probably be like 25 bucks. You know, 4 quid. You know, I bought I bought two of those offers and the five, the five, all the gear offers, and it cost me a tenner which you know you can't really buy you know i've stopped eating takeaways as much as i have before and i couldn't even buy a takeaway for 10 pounds in london it's like 14 15 pound minimum delivery so for me that's not too bad um i probably wouldn't buy the gear one again even if it was that cheap just because i don't want to be buying gear i'm gonna be honest i don't mind having a little bit of a a roll on a character every now and again I think that was a bit expensive for what you're most likely going to get. I think the RTS tokens were good, 99 pence or 99 cents for a chance, a uh, sendable, a chance, a five star. Um, cheaper, more people probably bought that as well. I think even this, though this is only slightly more expensive, it's going to put people off because, like I say, the characters in there that are five stars are not great. If you put them all at like fun or slash rare characters in there a lot of those ones were on the five star wheel so potentially you know if that came up again i i'm not sure i don't know if i'd buy it a second time a first time you know i give it a, a, a good a good chance on the first roll but after that i'm like hmm you know the chance of me getting it a, a slim and it was just for fun the first time but i'll, I'll give it a miss this second time so i didn't get i, I would say i didn't get anything great from rts tokens if you remember my my pulls there but i think it was still good value if i'm honest um 
But do tell me if you pulled on these wheels. Do tell me if you've got something good. Like I said before, Vegas Variety, I saw his gear. He got all good gear. He's so lucky. He's so lucky. And he's like, oh, I think this is good, Brad. That was, that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> um, but I, I'm, you know, I'm fairly happy. He just gets a little bit of gear for 99 pence. Not too bad. Um, the characters, well, I mean, I basically bought a Benedict for four pounds seventy nine or whatever it was. So not the not the greatest, but hey, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, but that's in this video, guys. Do tell me if you've got anything nice. Uh, I do read your comments when I can, um, if I'm not asleep. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.